Hey, hey, YouTube, this is Gamer Corey, and today we are going to be carving a pumpkin, as you can see right in front of you. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is grab yourself a knife and start cutting around the stem at the top. Try to make it some odd, weird shapes so it's easy to find where you need to put the stem back on. As you can kind of see, I'm doing that here. The next step that we're going to need to do is remove all the pumpkin seeds and some of the guts from the stem so that we can get it on our pumpkin a little bit easier. So that's now that that is complete, this is what it should look like here. We're going to use our scoop to start scooping out the pumpkin guts in all. So now that you got your pumpkin completely gutted, it should be nice and clean like so. You should have a separate bucket for all of your pumpkin seeds and whatnot if you're going to bake those later. These are all the pumpkin seeds that we got from this specific pumpkin. Hopefully uh, you guys got a lot more. Uh, here is our stencil. This is the, this is our what we're going to be creating today. We're going to be doing a cat theme. So the first thing that we're going to do is grab our little poker and we're going to start poking around the stencil of our creation. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started just a little bit. We're going to start around the tail area and you can kind of start wherever that you would like. This is just kind of as an example. Hopefully uh, you guys will uh, create something very unique as well. I would love to see your guys's pumpkins. Uh, so link them in the description or in your comment section down below if that is something that you guys want to share with me. So upload them to YouTube and let's do it. Uh, a little bit closer, you can kind of see how I've poked around the stencil as best that I can. It kind of gives you an idea of what it should look like throughout the entire process. Now, I'm going to go ahead and speed up uh, the process here in just a moment to kind of give you guys an idea of what it will look like. But this is just a little bit more of an example to kind of uh, get around the little stencils as much as possible. So here we go. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. So now that we have that complete, we can remove our stencil if that is what you have done. Otherwise, uh, if you've created it in permanent marker, just go ahead and wipe it down as best as possible. But it doesn't really matter because we're going to be carving it out anyway. So if you guys are finding that the dots are really hard to see, as you can kind of see on this pumpkin, as we zoom in a little bit closer, it is a little bit easier to go ahead and see the dots that we have created. But it is still fairly hard to see. So let's go ahead and grab our flower as you can see in the provided bowl here. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab a little bit with our fingers and slowly uh, kind of fill in the the holes that we created with our, our little poker to create this stencil. It's kind of hard to see at this angle, but I promise that it's a lot better once we go ahead and zoom in. So make sure that all of your holes are nice, nice and filled in so that uh, they are easily able to be seen. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like next. So now that these dots are filled in with the flower, it's a lot easier to go ahead and start our carving process. So let's go ahead and start the pro carving process now. So I'm going to speed this up just a little bit quicker for you guys. Kind of kind of go along however preferred method that you like. What I like to do is start with some of the smaller cuts first. So I'm doing the smaller ear cut first and then I go start moving to the eyes. I find that doing the smaller cuts first actually are easier instead of doing the large ones just because when you get to a large cut and then start to do small cuts inside of that, I find it a little bit harder to handle the pumpkin and it feels like it might break and there has been times in the past that it has broke for me. So. You guys can do it however you prefer. Uh, what works, like I said, easier for me is by starting with the smaller cuts first.
right, so here is our pumpkin completed. We have uh, created the cat. So now this is kind of what it looks like without any type of lighting. But uh, we'll go ahead and show you a little bit better what it looks like here in the dark. All lit up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is our crazy cat in honor of my cat that passed away last year. I'm probably going to get some tears in the comments. But if you guys are enjoying these videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot. Until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. Thank <laughs> you.